Hey guys, this is Ashley with CT and Mina Digitals. I'm going to be showing you how to use um, a PNG replace the face newborn digital backdrop. Um, this is the digital backdrop that I'm going to be using and this is the baby that I'm going to be using. Um, for the PNG face backdrop specifically, um, the straight on shots like this, it is best to get close, um, have the light coming from at an angle, um, try to look at digitals before you have your session and see which ones you're going to want to use and how the light is, and then try to mimic that in your photo shoot. And it's going to be a lot easier to, um, edit the composite image afterwards. Um, so this one I think will go pretty good with this one. So I'm going to, um, select all edit copy and paste. I'm going to drag it below um, the digital backdrop layer and just adjust the size to what looks good. Um, now everybody, every baby's face is different. It's never going to fit perfectly. There's editing that's going to have to be done. So I do recommend um, experience in Photoshop. Okay, I think the size looks good. Now, I obviously want to bring in um, the edges of the digital backdrop. So I'm going to select the digital backdrop. I'm going to go up to filter liquify and I'm going to use the tool and up here you can change the size. Um, I'm just going to bring in the sides of this. Let's see if that will help a bit. Perfect. Okay. And zoom in. And see, there's still some spaces um, that need to be adjusted. But in order to get rid of um, this, you could, sometimes I do just use the, um, go ahead and duplicate the image. And I use the clone tool and I'll just grab the shadow and I'll paint it off leave a bit of the shadow because it makes it natural. I'm on, you want 100% opacity here. And that hides that. I actually don't want to do that down here. I want to bring that in down there again. A lot of people think these um, digitals are easier to use, but honestly, sometimes they require a lot more work to get them to look realistic. Okay, so you can see that the bonnet <clears throat> is a little blurred up here. So I actually want to add some blur to the baby's face around the edges. That way it blends better. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and click on this the background layer again. I'm going to go back into liquify. And I'm going to tuck the chin in just a little bit more. Let's see if that did the trick. Yep. You can still see it a tiny little bit there, but I'm not I'm not that worried about it. Okay, now adding shadow. <clears throat> I am going to create a layer above my baby layer, brush at about 10%, and I'm going to sample the shadow part of the baby's face to get my color, and I'm going to paint in some shadow where I feel like it's needed.
Now, I still feel like the shadows should even be a little bit um, more so on this side. So I'm going to go to my adjustment layer and I'm going to add a little, I'm going to bring down shadows just a little bit. It looks better. Now there's a little bit of um, light bounce right here from this photo from her hand. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to create another layer color. Come 100%. And I'm just going to even that out. Um, create a layer mask. There's a little bit right here that I don't want. Oops. On there. Temperamental. Okay. Okay, and then if you wanted to, um, so I think that looks pretty good. I might even add more shadow over here. I'm going to use my burn tool. Go ahead and flatten it. I'm going to go up to liquify again. And I'm just going to fix the bonnet around the face just a little bit. Chin there. Okay. I think that looks good. Before. After. 